In today's video, we review the Grade 1 Piano Syllabus from the Associated Board of the Royal Schools of Music. Michael here at Making Music and today we are going through the entire syllabus, piano syllabus that is, for Grade 1 from the Associated Board. Board. That's right, I'm going to go through the, all of the pieces and let you know my thoughts about them. Um, if you haven't checked out my video about how to choose your exam repertoire, um, please check that video out first because there's a lot of very good tips in there, exactly the same tips I've used to pretty much go through the syllabus here um, at the moment, okay? Before we get into it, as I've told you before, uh, there's a million ways to play music and a million more ways to go about it. My advice is based on my education. Bachelor's degree from Trinity, Master's degree from Royal College, and I've been teaching and playing professionally for over 20 years. I hope you find something you like. If you do, great. And if you don't, you know what? That's okay too. Whatever you do, leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, like the video, and even better if you would subscribe. Right, so grade one. That's it, we've got it right here. It is the little booklet. Ah, but I got it with the CD. And if you've seen my, my other video, you said you would have known that I'm a big fan of getting the recordings because it gives you a chance to go through the whole syllabus and listen to everything and see what you think. You also, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the alternative pieces. Why? Because it makes you stand out a little bit, a little bit more. Is it that relevant in grade one? You could argue that maybe it's not, but hey. What's the harm in playing some better pieces, eh? Uh, I don't think there's any harm in looking at them. You might just uncover a few gems, and I think we have done that in this um, in this particular syllabus as well. So I've got my notes. As you can see, there's some some red on there. Those are the ones I wouldn't touch um, necessarily. Not that they're bad pieces, but just I think that there are better options for for the syllabus. Okay. So what we are going to do today, we're going to go through each of the three sections, A, B and C. I'm going to give you some highlights and some lowlights. I'm going to tell you uh, also what it, you know, my preferences in terms of what's in the booklet. So just what's in here. And then also my preferences in terms of the, the whole section, all of A, all of B, all of C. Because um, obviously in the booklet you only get three pieces, whereas with the alternatives you get substantially more pieces. Um, and I'm going to give you my highlights my low lights and then a couple of examples of potentially how you could construct a program okay what i am not going to do i'm not categorically going to tell you this is what you should be playing for your uh, for your exam this is the program for you uh, uh that's not my job that's between you and your teacher also there are certain you might have certain strengths in your playing you might be better at playing um, uh, very emotionally, very um, expressively. Uh, if that's the case, there's some great pieces in here for you, but some might not be suitable for you as well, okay? So we're gonna try and create a, a balance, think about creating a balanced program, but like I said, I'm not gonna give you a definitive program. That's up to you and up to your teacher. Okay, so we are going to look at the list A first. Surprise, surprise. And we are gonna start off with the ones in the booklet. So you've got three in the booklet, one which is from Anon, whether he or she is. I know that means a lot. Mozart and a traditional English one. Um, you know, out of these three pieces, I, I don't really think there's much to choose between them. If I have to start really going into it, I think most people will pick Mozart, just because it's Mozart, and you're not really gonna go wrong with Mozart. Does that mean there's probably a better option to choose one of the other ones? Because it's gonna be less played? I'd say probably, yeah. So you might wanna look at the, uh, the other two in there instead of the Mozart. Looking at the rest of the syllabus, uh, the alternative pieces, I think there's some, some really good ones in here. In particular, I really like um, the Govotten C by Handel and the Haymaking uh, by, I'm um, going to pronounce this incorrectly now, Melia, I think it is. Now, the Melia I really, really like. Nice, expressive, uh, medium tempo, it's in 3 4 as well. So that, that's you know, a bit of a contrast to your normal 4 4, which you're going to get a lot of in grade one. So that might be, be a, a good option. Um, the Handel, is more famous, so therefore, again, more likely to be picked as, as one of the alternatives. Uh, but still, I still think a valuable option. Either one of those two were my, my particular favourites, and that's for the, the whole of the um, uh, uh, list A section. I think they're better than the ones in the booklet, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, but that's not to say the booklet ones aren't options as well. 
Uh, well, there's another one which was um, the, the first duet by Alexander, um, Dennis Alexander, Sonatina. Um, nice little duet. So if you are doing your very first exam, you might want to consider actually doing that a duet as a starting piece because you'll have your most likely to have your teacher with you in the exam put your rest a little bit put your ease um, and then you know you can then launch off into to B and C afterwards um, so I think that's an option the other duet in there the one by uh, the current by Wells yeah I, I wasn't that impressed with that one I thought considering it's four hands it wasn't really that big a sound from the piano I would expect a little bit more a little bit more going on but there just really wasn't so I'm not suggesting it's an easy piece no I don't know I haven't played it but to me it just didn't give me didn't give me the vibe if you like whatever you want to call it okay uh, what else have we got uh, Gurlitt again this bit of a low light for me I'm afraid um, the chase the hunt yeah, it's it's a nice stuff it's a little bit too it's a little bit too simplistic I think for grade one so in conclusion highlights you've got your handle and the melia um, the low lights the Gurlitt and the Wells um, uh, duet so on to list B and we're, of course we're starting with the booklet again and you have three in there Schumann, Tan and traditional Irish. For me, the, the, the B2, the Tan, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play that one. It's, it's too much like a pop song to me and that, to me everyone's going to be drawn to playing that one. Oh it's poppy, ha ha, no, I, I, I would stick clear with that one. It's an alright piece but um, yeah, no, I was, wasn't too impressed with it. The Schumann, I like, I mean, I, I, Schumann's a particular favourite of mine. I absolutely love playing Schumann. Uh, but this one, the fingering's a little bit tricky. I tried it out for grade one. I thought it was a little bit on the on the difficult side. It's perfectly possible if your, your technique is good enough. That is that is definitely an option. That's a nice little piece. And the traditional Irish piece uh, sounded a little bit like Lord of the Rings, actually. So if I had to choose between those three, I probably would go with that one, B3, the traditional Irish one, which was quite nice. Now, moving on into the alternatives, we'll start with the duets this time. Um, the first one was by Dennis Alexander, again, perfectly fine. And the second one by Helen Madden, Forgotten Forest. You know what, both of them were pretty good. I was, um, they, they were reasonable. Uh, you know, there was, there was quite a lot of good options I felt here in, in this B, so they would, they, would, they would both be, be reasonable options as well. If you've done a duet for the for list A, I wouldn't then do a duet again. Um, you know, you be, be careful of how, how you, you structure that. Um, and probably, I would suggest probably better to finish off with, or finish off with a duet, or start off with a duet, and rather than put one in the middle. But then again, maybe you want to do that to, to balance, you know, to, to break your things up. Hmm. Million one ways. Do you see what I mean? Up to you. If you can make it work, I think you know, do do so. Um, other than that, to be honest with you, I was I was genuinely you know reasonably impressed, or genuinely impressed with, with the rest of the the, the list B ones. Um, I particularly like the Olwyn and the Richard Rodney Bennett. Um, both are expressive, um, you know, leaving room for you know dynamics and putting your putting a stamp on it. The the Richard Rodney Bennett was had the left hand melody, so if you're competent with your left hand and play, that's yeah, I'd say that's, that's a really good option. Um, the Blake one, for instance, here, that was a nice one as well, but it had some, some quite a lot of chords in the left hand, so unless you're good at playing those chords piano and making sure that the right hand melody can sing out on top of that, I would avoid that one. But still, a very nice piece and nothing nothing wrong with it at all. Um, and there's another couple, you know, and the rest of them were, were all pretty good as well. Not really an awful lot to choose between them. So again, it very much depends on what you would have chosen for your first piece. Or if there's one of those that you really, really, really like, then you know you might want to have to fit the other ones around it. So, in conclusion, yeah, for the for the booklet, I would stay clear of B2, um, and I probably would play the traditional Irish. Schumann is another option, but then the rest of them, yeah, you know, you're not really going to go terribly wrong with with many of them. I think it's there it really comes down to personal choice, or personal preference. And that leaves us with the list C's. Okay, right, this is where it gets a little bit tricky and I fear I might be coming, I might be being a little bit controversial. Some of you might not like what I have to say for this next bit. Hey, again, a million and one ways and all that. Look, take what you want from this. If you really disagree with me, that's fine, that's cool. Just, you know, chill out, all right? Anyway, right, so we'll start off with the booklets again, as we did before. Now you've got three choices here, um, Milner, Pap and Wedgwood. 
And for me, the the one that stands out is the middle one, the PAP, the C2. Um, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, look, good dynamic scope here. The cords might be slightly problem, but that for me was a standout piece in that in the in the booklet. The first one, the the, the mill, the, the cockatoo. Look, it's a nice enough piece, it's fun enough to play, and I would let my students play it, but I would not let them play it for the exam. Same thing with the Wedgwood, um, although I think the Wedgwood is slightly slightly better, but the mill, what it, nothing wrong with the piece. So please, 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 if you're watching um, the composer, I'm, this is not, you know, this is not uh, a reflection on your piece, it's a good piece. However, to me, it feels like the exam board trying too hard it's like your dad dancing all right um uh, at the discotheque it uh, yeah it just doesn't quite fit in to me this is like they feel like they're trying to shoehorn something in there to try and make themselves look cool it's not working for me okay uh it's also one of those which i, I know that people are going to want to play uh, and people are going to play it for the exam and everyone's going to play it and it's just going to be the examiner's going to be sitting there going all right let me guess i'm going to 50 50 and they're gonna be playing little games on their head, all right? No, and then when you say, oh, actually, I'm gonna play the pap, they're going, ooh, I haven't heard this one for a while. This will be interesting. Even more interesting would be if you choose one of the alternatives, of which there are actually some really, really good ones. Um, firstly, I really, really liked the June Armstrong Sunlight Through the Trees. Lovely, lovely little piece. Very high uh, on the register of the piano. Um, very expressive, lo lovely little piece. Different, you know. You're gonna you're gonna stand out playing that one. The only thing I'm not quite sure about is it is it is it, it's not really a showstopper that you'd end your 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 recital on. Uh, normally, or a lot of times, you'd want to go out with a bit of a bang, if you know what I mean. Uh, and this is not that. It's a different kind of bang. You know, uh, not it's not going to have fireworks, but still, lovely little piece. Be pa if you're going to play it, make sure you're the patient type. If you if you rush through stuff, it's not going to work for you. The other one that I really like is one by um, Elias Davidson, The Frog. Um, good, funky, f uh, funky little rhythms and accents and things. Like this one, a bit more um, of a high to end the exam on. So that that's definitely an option as well. And then talking about the duets, I really like the um, Jane Sever Latin Laughter really fun way and, uh, to end the exam and because it's an alternatives you know it, it's often going to be overlooked so um, if you are going to play this make sure you play it with somebody you play with often so like somebody like your teacher um, because you want you need to have a good rapport with them it's almost like with this kind of piece you, you don't really count it you just feel it you just go for it anyway yeah, it's fucking groovy yeah so that's a, that's a nice showstopper um, I, 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 Personally, for my own taste, I do like the other ones a little bit more, the June Armstrong and the Elias Davidson, but this one, the Seba, is, I think it's a nice way to end. The other duet in there, the Alison Matthews Woodland Folk Song, uh, it's okay, but they do this tapping thing on the piano and it's like, really, mm, it's been done now, I don't really see, yeah. yeah. I, I, to me, it just doesn't add a lot to it. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad piece, but I think the other one's a little bit nicer. Let's talk about the low lights now. So for me, the couple of pieces again, which I wouldn't choose, and that's um, the Jazzy Dragon and Tutu Bobby, arranged by Chapman, traditionally Ghanaian. Um, yeah, no, I, I think there's better pieces than those. They're not bad pieces, don't get me wrong, but not not for me. And then the last one, and they're the traditional Jamaican manga walk. Again, a bit of trying too hard there and tricky rhythm. It's okay, but I think the other ones, the other ones are best. If you want something a bit more upbeat, I will go with that Seba um, duet there, which was a nice piece. Okay, so let's try and put that all together. So, what are you going to do? Right, what I have done personally is I have, like I say, I have done my own spreadsheet here. Just you see that, right? The red ones, as you can imagine, are the ones that I'm not considering. Uh, that doesn't mean they're bad pieces. I just don't think they are the best pieces in this particular format. Um, or, or for you know, for, for construction a grade program, but they're not bad pieces. There's no bad pieces. Uh, you know, again, at the end of the day, what is bad is somebody's opinion. What is opinion? It's nothing. You know, you, you it's what somebody thinks of something. It's not actually 
anything concrete, tangible, if you know what I mean, okay? So what I would do, so I've got here, I've listed all the pieces, I've got what, what speeds they're at, what tempo markings, whether they're major, minor, the style, you know, whether they're Baroque, classical, atonal, whatever. Um, I give them a mark out of 10 and made some notes on them, okay? So what I would do is I would say, okay, well look, well, which one of those is my absolute favorite that I want to build my program around? So I might go to my list C's and say, do you know what? I really, really, really like that June Armstrong, Sunlight Through the Trees. I've given that one pretty much the highest mark um, in the in in the whole um, in the whole syllabus, so I'm going to build my program around that. Hmm. Problem. It's slow. So it's ending my program on a slow note. Okay, which means probably the other two. I'm going to need probably a fast and a medium and fast maybe for them. So going back to my list B's, what have we got? Which is in those kind of areas. For list A, what was the ones I really liked? Ooh, that one there, the haymaking. That's a medium fast piece. Okay go with that go with that so the haymaking one for list a and then for list b can we go with something a bit faster maybe what we've we got which is a bit on the faster side there not an awful lot actually you've got the blake that's relatively fast that's all pretty slow hmm i might need to rethink this okay well maybe if we go for a medium one here on the list b i like these go with richard rodney bennett as an example, okay, that's in 4-4 four, four and a minor key. The Sunlight Through the Trees was a major key, also 4-4. Four, four. Is there a 3-4 one? A bit, hmm, a bit faster. Oh, no. uh, Mozart, actually. There you go. Mozart does fit in there somewhere. So major, 3-4. And it's a fast, faster piece, so that might be an option there. Do you see what I mean? So I would consider those different things. Look at my other video in terms of you know the, the parameters and, and, uh, and how to build a balanced program. You don't want to have three fast pieces. You don't want to have three slow pieces. Think about how you want the program to to start and how you want the program to end. Do you really want to end on that high note? Then the uh, was it um, sunlight through the trees or the frog are probably not going to be the best one. The frog actually may be a little bit better, um, but certainly not sunlight through the trees. Maybe you might want to do that duet, uh, you know, the seba, uh, the Latin laughter, because that is that's quite a lot of fun and that's probably the best showstopper in the in the entire program as well. And and it's a very very nice piece and a duet. So. Your, t your teacher can come along and actually if your teacher comes along they'll probably be able to give you a good indication at the end of the exam how well you did so maybe that's another thing to consider uh but yeah so how fast major minor tempo uh, uh, not tempo, uh key signatures and then different styles make sure you get a balance in there make sure you show yourself off to your, the best of your abilities are you an expressive player are you a flamboyant player I realize obviously we're talking about grade one, you're probably just starting your journey in terms of really discovering what type of player you are, but you'll know what, you know, what you're drawn to because that's what you like, isn't it? So you'll know what you like. So nothing wrong with trying out the, you know, to go in with something that you like. Uh, but again, don't discount the alternatives because there's some real gems in there this time. So you'd be, uh, to me, you'd be silly. Yes, you might need to buy another book, but I think it's well, well worth it. Look, we're going to end it there. Um, I do need to give you a top tip, don't I? I didn't think of a top tip. Hmm. Actually, I do know a top tip. Make sure when you buy the booklet, you get the CD as well. You can listen to the whole whole syllabus. So get the one with the CD because you can listen to everything. Um, I realise it's slightly different for, for instruments, which are not, you know, instruments other than piano. But um, listen to as much of the syllabus as you possibly can. That's it. Please, please do let me know your thoughts. If there's another grade you want me to cover off, I do. I would like to try and get to do maybe at least grade one to grade five, do all of the piano uh, grades, maybe even all the way to grade eight. Let me know which one you want me to start with, if there's another one. For instance, if you're doing, are you gonna be doing grade four next year or later on in the year? Let me know and I'll make sure I'll cover that one off first, what will have you. So as per usual, you know, please comments, please comments, please like, please subscribe, all the rest of it. And um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.